Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Steven from Steven Gaming TV, and I just took a nap, so I am pretty sleepy, and I hope that my words don't twist and that I can still keep up with my usual my, with my usual rhythm. But for now, I'm gonna teach you how to navigate between scenes, how to switch between scenes inside of GDevelop. Welcome to your seventh tutorial inside of GDevelop. Okay, right now, click a new over here or go to File, New, and let's make an HTML5 game. So, why HTML5? HTML5 because HTML5 previews the game inside of a browser and you can switch between your scenes easily the browser allows you to do that however if you make a native game it previews inside of gdevelop and gdevelop does not let you switch between scenes unless you compile the whole game and run the exe but you're too lazy to do that because you're just following a tutorial right now not building a whole game so just click on html5 empty project and create a new project okay now let's wait for that to load that's pretty fast actually and click on insert a new object double click on sprite and right now we are going to click on this thing right here that you already know double click over here and choose character boy drag that over here the operation completed successfully error the operation completed successfully that's a not error now let's delete this and we have our cute little boy over here let's put him over here on the middle top on the center top excuse me right now you're gonna click on a certain new object right click on a certain new object double click on text yes and say this is scene one and i am b-boy because he has those things like a bees on top of his head and say click me for scene number two okay i hope the text is visible enough visible enough and for now what i want you to do is go to events say add an event say add a condition mouse and touch the mouse cursor or touch is on an object object and then select this b-boy say okay add another condition below that mouse and touch the mouse button released and select left okay so you have to press a mouse button before you release it so if you ask the computer if the mouse button is released that means that the mouse button was pressed in the first place and that's how you check if a mouse has been clicked if a mouse cursor is, if a mouse button has been clicked add an action scene okay follow along scene change the scene and change this to scene 2 right now there is no scene 2 yet but gdevelop allows us to allows us to enter some things that we can add later on right now we are gonna rename this to scene 1 by clicking once and then clicking after one second then we're gonna right click copy right click paste now we're gonna rename this scene number 2 okay and inside of scene number two you double click that and make sure you don't confuse these two tabs inside of scene number two you are going to double click over here and click on edit over here then click over here click on planet cute and then you are going to select cat curl okay so here is cat curl uh not this guy this girl so here is cat girl and we are gonna change the text for her and let's click over here to edit this you do that or you click over here and click on edit so right now what you want you to do is to say click me for scene number one and uh, she's gonna say this is scene number one and i am cat girl so we are going to rename this to cat girl 
and click on OK. So right now you have cat girl which occupies scene number two and then scene number one occupied by p-boy and if we preview this thing over here it's gonna show us p-boy and if we click on p-boy's big head it's gonna show us cat girl and then if we click on cat girl's big head um actually nothing happened let's see what went wrong ah, okay for here I forgot to change this to scene number one for cat girl and for scene number and scene number two for B boy and yeah everything looks fine now let's preview this once again click on cat girl's big head click on big boy's big head and you can switch between your scenes okay nice and smoothly and somebody asked me earlier how to make a uh, how to make a button that replace the frame if you want to replay the frame all you have to do if you want to replay the scene all you have to do is enter the name of the current scene on this over here okay the same name as your scene so if I click over here it's it's gonna rest you do not see anything right now but it's gonna restart the scene over and over every time I click do you hear that all right so that's pretty much what you need to know about gdevelops uh about uh switching between scenes inside of gdevelop and i'm gonna make future tutorials about other things but for now i want you to like the video if you liked it dislike the video if you disliked it and tell me how i can make it better then you can subscribe or you cannot depends on you i'm not gonna force you and stay tuned for the next set of tutorials